Hi guys. So I want to do a little um, tutorial, um, not a makeup tutorial, but something that I just want to break down what I use um, for my face because I've never really like told you guys or showed you guys like what products I use for my face to get this full face. So I'm going to tell you the steps from start to finish of what I do. So the first step I do is I put the Jefferson Style Green Concealer on with a brush like this and I just dab it on like the green concealer on like the spots that I needed the red spots and then I go in like that then I go in with the peach concealer by Jeffree Star and I put it all over my chin and my upper lip um actually concealing and I put the same brush and I go around like that then I take my Jeffree Star Morphe foundation brush and then I use my foundation where is it I use my Makeup Forever foundation and the shade one uh, Y325 and I just put it on and then I just dab it all over my face like so you know and I, I make sure I get my neck and everything um sometimes like when I, like my chest is showing like today I put some foundation and I cover up my chest a little bit and then um I will set everything with um my Studio Fix MAC powder which I can't find right now <laughs> my Studio Fix MAC powder and I'll go in with and a, like a brush like this again and I'll just dab it like all over my face with the MAC powder brush go all over then um and you're on the same spot to put the foundation then I use my eyebrow pen and I use the brush first and I brush the hairs and then I take the pen side and I'm in medium brown and Sage of Beverly Hills and I go in and I fill out my brows like so with that then I use my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. Everyone does different steps for different the different makeup looks, but this is what I do. Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer, I put it all over the lid. Then I take a light shade, like, um, like a light shade like this, like my pills on the top over here, my pills. And, um, like a light shade like that. And then I'll set the, um, the eyeshadow primer with a brush like this. And I'll just go over my eyes with a brush like that. Then eyeshadow, right? Then I'll start with eyeshadow. So then I go whatever palette I'm using, like today. So I use Conspiracy, right? So, you know, any brushes. I usually start with a transition brush, going like that, with the trans transition color. And then I go in with a color like a brush like this to darken up the crease, like I did today. Um, darken it like that. And then, um,. You know, I, I, I take my ring finger normally and I rub into a metallic and I'll rub it all over my lid. I like using my metallics with my finger. Then I use my Cafe D liquid liner and I go all the way, you know, around the, the, the line here with the liquid liner. Then I take the eyeliner, Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner for precision and I go under my waterline, you know, my waterline there. Then... My next step, I take a Jeffree Star C10 concealer, and then I go under my eyes, and I start concealing my under eyes with that, and then I go and, and um, bake and set my under eye concealer with um, this translucent powder from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Okay, so that's that. Then I take a liner brush like this, and I go into a dark color black or whatever and I line my lash line where I put like the, the precision eyeliner and I go a little like a little under the that and then I go like that. Then I take a brush like this, a little dome brush, and then I pick another color from the palette and then I will smoke out my lash line with another color on top of the um, where I lined my um, shadow with the black. Um, and then um, I think that, oh, then I, then I do my my inner corner highlight. So then I take, like, a brush like this, like a very small brush like this, and then I go in, like, in a, like a very light metallic color, and I'll go my inner corner. Then I'll take this brush on this side, which this is from the Urban Decay Alice in Wonderland Looking Glass Palette, if you remember. This is the brush that came with the palette. Take this side, and then I dab into the same color, do my inner corner, and then I do my brow bone. Then... But then I do my mascara. So then I do my Better Than Sex Too Faced Mascara and I put two coats on the top, one coat on the bottom. And then what do I do next? Oh, and then now, now my next step, this is my favorite, this is like, came one of my favorite steps. I take the translucent setting, not translucent, but I take the fair setting powder from Jeffree Star. So this is translucent I set my under eyes with, but this is the one I set everything else with. And then this is, this is, um, in the color fair. So it's perfect for my skin tone. I just put it literally all over the place with this brush. Um, with this huge 
kabuki brush and I just dab into the thing and I go all over my face with it and my neck and everything and it sets everything in, and it sets everything in place and there's no oil no nothing and it's beautiful and I love it then my next step I contour and highlight so then I take my contour brush my highlighting brush from Jeffree Star Cosmetics Morphe Collab and I dab into the contour kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills yeah this is light to medium and I go into the middle shade here which has a dent in it um, hit pan and then I basically take this brush go into it do my contour on my cheeks and then my nose then I take my highlighting brush and I go into a highlighter you know Sarcophagus by Jeffree Star which again I hit pan on you know um, I'll dab into that then I'll highlight my my thing and then I'll take this small brush I like my, 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 my cheeks. And then I'll take this small brush, where is it? This, like, really small brush, and I dab into the highlight, and then I do my nose contour. Then I take this, this the brush I did, the Anastasia Beverly Hills, like, oh, not, no, the Urban Decay um, brush from the Alice in Wonderland palette. Like, I use this side to highlight my brows, right? Well, I take this side, the other side, this one, to contour my nose with that highlight that I did with um, this brush. Um, then I take my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Pat Spray and then I just spray everything. Then I take this brush again from the beginning. I take my MAC Pro Powder and then I'll take some of this Fair Setting Powder from Jeffree Star and I'll just dab into the spots where it's a little wet. I just want to like, you know, let it dry a little quicker. And then I go like this to dry my, my setting spray. Then for lips, I do like a lip liner, of course. Any lip liner will work. Whatever, like Red Rum, you know, go around the lips. Then I'll take a lipstick, whatever, lip, to match the lip liner, so Jeffree Star Red, and then I'll go around it with that liquid lip. Then if I want to top it with a gloss, of course, gloss. I wait for it to dry, I wait for like 30 seconds for it to dry, maybe a minute, and then put on the gloss on top. And that is it. You got my, your Joey Jojo XOXO flawless makeup look. That's how I do my makeups from step to step. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, yeah. And then after that, of course, then I do my hair, I get dressed, I um, spray perfume on, I put on some cream, you know, I put on Vanilla Be Noel today, and you know, I just put on the finishing touches, jewelry, whatever, and then I'm out the door. And there it is. Um, so, these products I recommend, all these products I recommend, um, definitely try it, try um, my makeup look, try the steps, you know, everyone does different steps for different things, use different products, but definitely try, um, in my way, because I definitely, um, my makeup always comes out flawless, I forgot to mention, if I have fallout under my eyes, from eyeshadow, normally when I do the under, eye, the under, like the concealer with the C10, concealer from Jeffree Star, like to, to, to brighten out my eyes, and then I set it with the translucent powder, it normally, the fallout will go away when I do that, so, you know, it, there's no shadow on my under eyes at that point, um, because, or over here that's flat fell, because it's all cleaned up with the concealer and with the translucent setting powder, so I'm fine with that. But yeah, definitely try um, this. I definitely I clean my brushes once a month um, with just um, dish dish soap, and I take my palm my hands, I just rub it with the dish soap in the water, and I clean it like that, and I dry it off with Scott towels. Um, and then I wait for like eight hours for it to dry before I apply my makeup again. So yeah, um, I love you guys so much, um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.